Hey chulas, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Sonia. Welcome. Today we're going to be testing out the Kylie and Jordan collection. I did buy the bundle, so yeah. If you want to see how I created this look, continue watching. Alright, so for my brows, I actually did use a different product. I used the Kat Von D 24-hour super brow pomade and that's what it looks like there and it is in the shade medium brown just because i am gonna go um i am gonna be going to a concert and i want my eyebrows to actually stay so i thought this was the perfect way to actually test it out um, it is currently 258 so yeah um the concealer that I went with to clean up the brows was the LA Colors. I just figured I'd go ahead and use it just because I really like the way that it looks on the brows. And for primer, I usually do use the concealer as well as a primer for my eyelids. But I decided to go with Too Faced 24 Hour Insurance. And I actually didn't set it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit of translucent powder and set it because I do want my eyeshadow to actually last. Because the concert doesn't start until like later. So yeah. Alright, so. The eyeshadow palette that we are going to be using for tonight is the Kylie and Jordan collaboration. So, this is what it looks like here. The packaging is stunning. I love this packaging. To tell you the truth, the only reason why I got it was because the packaging was so beautiful to me. I do actually like the palette, the colors and everything. To me, it's really aesthetically pleasing. Like, I feel like I would reach for this palette a lot. Um, but yeah, this this right here is just beautiful. So I'm actually going to be keeping the packaging. So this is what the actual palette looks like. It just says Kylie and Heart Jordan. And I actually like this. This is actually really pretty. I don't mind the actual packaging of the palette. And you know, in the back it does have the eyeshadow names. So one of the things that I actually do love about this palette is that she actually went ahead and put the eyeshadow names on the front of the palette. I don't want to like fold the mirror or anything back. I just don't want to damage the palette. I don't like, you know, folding the palettes back like that. Um, but I do love that she has the names on the front. It doesn't really bother me that much, but um, sometimes, you know, I don't want to go back and forth like on a video and it's just... But anyway, um, I just thought that this palette was really pretty. I actually love these colors. You can tell that, you know, they actually thought this through and they put a lot of dedication to this collection. But yeah, I love it. So I did pick up a couple of other things, but I'll just show you as I go. I am going to go ahead and go in with Peru. And that's that orangey shade right there. I'm just going to go ahead and add that as my transition shade okay it does have a lot of fallout but um you know her palettes tend to do that you can see it right there i mean i don't mind it it's whatever I mean, most eyeshadow palettes do have a lot of fallout okay right off the back i can see that this um this eyeshadow is very pigmented. It's really pretty on the skin. It's not too bad trying to blend it out. I really love the fact that they are like fall colors as well. I mean, you can do a very like neutral look with this palette like in the summer, but right now that it's fall, like these colors are so pretty and I just feel like they're perfect. This 
color is actually really pretty too. So the eyeshadow palette itself does retail for $45. I picked up the bundle which retails for um, $124, which I thought that it was the best deal just because I did want everything from this collection. I really don't care about the um, gold kind of um, lip gloss that's in the collection, but I was like, hey, why not? I'll just go ahead and pick up the whole collection. It's actually the first time that I did pick up all of the collection from any of the collections that she's came out with. I just thought that this collection was really beautiful, honestly, like, I just think it's one of the best that she's came out with. I do like my Sipping Pretty palette, I really do, but this collection to me is like by far the best. So just taking the same brush, I am going to go in with the shade Sister, and that's this brown color right here. And I'm just going to be adding it on top of the roof just to deep, deepen <clears throat> just to deepen up the crease and the other leaf. And this one is pretty pigmented as well and it's blending out pretty good actually. I'm trying to see if there's any flaws, but honestly, I don't really see any. I honestly don't. I am going to get another um, blending brush because I do want to go with, I want to go in with Peru again. I just feel like that brown kind of took it away. Yeah, if you do decide to, um, you know, do your foundation and full face first, which I never do. I don't like doing a full face and then my eyeshadows. I've always done just my eyeshadows first. But um, do be careful because there is fallout. It looks really pretty. Like I'm hardly even like going in with the brush and I feel like it came on really pretty. If you hear a noise in the back, you already know the deal with that. My baby is in the room with me. So. She will forever be with me. I really like this combo, it's really pretty. I could just leave it like this, but I am gonna go in with Love You Bitch, and that's this plum purpley color right there. And I'm just going to add that to the outer V and take it halfway to the crease. Not all the way, but just halfway. That one doesn't have as 
much fallout as the other two. So I don't know if it's going to be that pigmented. Um, actually, it is. Okay. Okay, Kylie and Jordan. You guys did that. I go purple and purple like that. Look at how pigmented that is. My eyes kind of looking like I have a bruised eyeball with these colors. And that is my baby. Sorry, Ben. have Kylie's purple palette and the purples in there let me tell you like I was so upset because they were so patchy and so chalky and I just felt like I kept adding and adding and adding eyeshadow and nothing was happening so with this purple color I was just like oh my god it better not be like her purple palette because I'm gonna be really upset now looking at it and like actually putting it on the eye I love it I like it it's really pigmented and I feel like a little bit goes a long way now it is a little bit patchy looking at it right now up close it is a little bit not a lot but it is nowhere near like as bad as her purple palette. And I'm barely even like tapping my eyelid, like I'm barely even touching it with the brush. So I'm going to go in with Peru just to make sure that the colors are well blended in. There's no harsh lines. color it does look like a greenish brownish color actually to me so I just feel like with the purple it kind of went away For the inside of my lid, I actually did want to use um, Marry Me, but that one is looking kind of like silverish, bluish. Let me, let me go ahead and swatch it. Yeah, like this. I kind of, I kind of want to use it. That's a really creamy actually. Really creamy. But then again, I want to use. Um, Wild Love, and that's the shade next to it. 
so I'm gonna swatch Wild Love for you guys. And this one is like a dual, dual chrome color. It's like, it shifts in color. Like, looking at it, it looks kind of purple, but then shifting it, it looks kind of green. I don't know if you guys can see that, like how it shifts in color. That is really pretty. But I don't know how I would feel though. No, I can't use this with that. With I'm just gonna have to do another look so I can use that shade. I'm gonna go in with Marry Me. Hopefully it will go on really good with a brush. I don't like having to use my fingers for eyeshadows. Like I just, with my nails, I can't really fit it in there and I just, I don't wanna be digging into the palette all the time. So hopefully with the brush it'll pick up some of that pigment. It's really picking up pigment with the brush. Guys, can you see that pigment? Like, what the hell? I don't know if she used a different formula or what it is, but that is beautiful. picking up any of the purple shade I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that those two colors are nicely blended I'm not gonna lie to you, buying this bundle, I went into it thinking, okay, it's gonna be trash. I'm not gonna like it because, to be honest, I didn't like any of her other palettes. Um, I have her Vacation palette, I have her Purple palette, and I do have her Sipping Pretty. And I do love my Sipping Pretty, but there's a lot of hits and misses with that as well. Um, and honestly, I went into this Thinking I'm gonna love it because of the packaging and that's the only reason why I'm gonna have it in my collection Well, bitch, let me tell you I am loving this palette like I Really hate that I like it so much like I went into it thinking okay I'm just gonna film a look with it just for the heck of it I already know what I'm gonna say. I already know that it's gonna let me down. Oh. And I'm just gonna blend this in. I actually didn't grab any other product. I thought that I did, but I didn't. You know, um, but what I was saying, um, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna like the palette. I'm gonna hate it. And I am honestly, I am so sorry that I went into it thinking I am gonna hate it because honestly, I am really loving this. Okay, they did that. Like, they really did do it. Alright, so I did add um, black eyeliner to my waterline. And I'm going to go in with this other purple shade right here. And it's called My Heart. And I'm just going to blend that out. Oh my 
this eyeshadow palette, I know it's sold out, but if she restocks, you need to get your hands on this if you have not purchased it. This is by far one of the best palettes that I own from any of her, well not any of her collections because like I, I said, you know, I don't own all of her collections because I would honestly go broke. But um, out of the few palettes that I have, like this is by far, my opinion, in my opinion, the best. This shade of purple in the pan, I don't really care for it, but on the eyes, it looks really pretty. It looks really, really pretty. I don't know why I thought that it was going to be a little bit lighter or neon, kind of, sort of, but it's actually a very pretty purple color. I am so in love with this palette. And I am not even free. I'm going to be taking the AOA Studio Starlit Liquid Liner. And this one is in the shade 164 Spotlight. That's what it looks like there. And if you guys are recreating this look, you guys can totally just leave this step out but I did want it to do a kind of sort of dramatic look a little more dramatic because it's already looking very dramatic and I'm not going to take it all the way down or all the way in I'm just going to do it halfway Alright, so I went ahead and finished my makeup off camera. Um, I did use my Wet n Wild foundation and I went ahead and decided to give this primer a second try. Um, so we'll see how my, my foundation holds out for the rest of the night. Um, so yeah, for highlighter, I am going to go ahead and add that on camera because I did purchase the Kylie and Jordan highlighter. Look at that packaging, it is so pretty. I love this packaging, guys. So just like the palette, it says Kylie Hearts Jordan. And these are the four shades in the palette. It does come with a mirror, but it comes with four shades. One's like a lilac purple, one's like a peachy champagne color, another one is like a golden champagne color, and then the other is like a true champagne color. Well, in the pan, I don't know how they swatch because I have not swatched them, but that's what they look like there. And this one is called Together Forever. This one is Best Life no new friends inseparable and to be honest my favorite shade in here looks like it's going to be no new friends so yeah that is the shade that I'm actually gonna be using today for this look so I'm just gonna grab my SL Miss Glam unicorn brush and I'm gonna go in with no new friends Okay, it does have a lot of fallout. Alright. Okay, it's looking more glittery than anything. And I actually don't mind that. It is a very subtle look. It's not too like dramatic. It does look like it has very chunky glitter. If you're not into like glitter and especially it being chunky, if you're more into that wet kind of look, then this is not a 
highlight for you. But I actually don't mind that. I actually like this, and to be honest, I think I might be having issues with like the foundation. I think it's time to like throw it out because this highlight is looking kind of like patchy on my skin and to be honest I don't know if it's because of my foundation or if it's because um, I did set my foundation with um, my Revlon um, powder foundation just to make sure that it's not going to move throughout the night, throughout the day. Okay, um, this is actually pretty pigmented and I think I overdid it. I'm just grabbing my fluffy brush and just kind of like blending it out. It's a very pretty shade, but it is transferring more white on my skin tone. So I'm actually going to go in with Best Life, and that is a little bit darker than No New Friends. And that's this one right here. I'm just going to take a little bit of that. And that one actually doesn't have that much fallout like No New Friends. That's what it is. Okay, to be honest, I think I like that one better. So look at me a little bit better. Okay, I think I overdid it with the highlighter. It's okay, I'll fix it in a minute. Alright, so I'm actually going to go in with No New Friends and I'm just going to add that to my nose with my finger. Okay, this highlight is like very pigmented, especially with your finger. I think it's going to be one of those where if you apply it with your finger, it's going to be even better. Mama! I'll do one! OMG, look at that! OMG, okay. Yeah, this highlight is very pigmented with your finger. With the brush, I don't really like the way that it applies with the brush. But then again, I am one of those people that don't like applying their stuff with brushes like I don't look at my nose highlight though kind of a little bit too exaggerating for me okay so for lips I don't know if I am going to use one of the liquid glosses and that's what they look like here these two are the liquid glosses and this is the packaging and it says Kylie and Jordan both front and back this one is 23 that's how old short um, Jordan turned and it's the gold um, lip gloss lip topper whatever you want to call it and this one is partner in crime and it's a nude Kind of lip gloss. I think this is a lip gloss. Yeah, it's a high gloss. And then this one is Woods, and this one is the lipstick. My baby, I'm sorry, guys. And this is a matte lipstick. That's gorgeous. Look at that color. Alright, so I'm just going to go in with my MAC um, pencil in Sublime Culture. I'm just going to outline my lips. And this color is really light. It's like a true nude to my lips. Oh, 
filling in my lips all right so i'm gonna be using the matte lip um uh, not liquid but the matte lip stick. Okay, this formula does feel very um, drying, so you might want to use the lip gloss on top, but I actually don't mind it. I like this color a lot. It is really pretty. I don't like my lips. I actually have been thinking about lip fillers lately so the formula of the lipstick does feel a little bit drying on me um, you know you can always top it off with the um, golden kind of color or even with the gloss um, I think I'm gonna do the gloss Well, actually, just for the sake of it, I'm going to go ahead and top it off with 23. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. Doesn't look that bad. It actually looks really pretty. The only thing I don't like about this is if you put it on top of the lipstick, the little, I don't know what this is called, but it gets dirty, so you do have to clean it off. But this color actually looks really pretty. It just gives you a little bit of like glitter to the lips. It's not as bad. Like I thought it was gonna go full on like gold, but it's not. It just gives you like little reflex. So it's not that bad. All right, Chula. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget about the giveaway that I'm having. Go ahead and um, watch that video. It's the one below. And I'll see you chulas in my next one. Bye.